Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice and happy holidays to all of you. In celebration, we are going to be releasing not just one video, but two videos featuring Tim Faust. This first one is a reaction and analysis. And then directly afterwards, we're going to have a tea time interview together where I ask Tim about life and how he makes those really awesome low noises. So in honor of that, I have worn my ugly holiday sweater. I drink tea and I know things. <laughs> so that's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you'll join me there as well. This first one is a collaboration between Peter Hollins and Tim Faust. Together, they are singing Green Sleeves. And it was a lot of fun to learn a little bit more about the history of the song. It's attributed to Henry VIII. It's thought that he wrote it for Anna Boleyn, who at the time was his lover, later queen consort. She was called Green Sleeves in Court. And there are various lines in it that talk about essentially how she cast him off. And that's referring to when she would bat away his advances at first. So it uh, has some really fun context there, but I'm really excited to see how these two brilliant gentlemen bring it to life. Let's get to it. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off discourteously. And I have loved you for so long, delighting in your company. I love the sound of their two voices together. I think this is such a brilliant combo. Uh, each in their own are fantastic singers. Peter does a lot of self-vocal layering and often collaborates with awesome artists as well. Tim, of course, often sings with Humphrey, who's the bass there. Peter's voice sits higher, Tim's sits lower. So it's really nice. It's almost like if there, if Tim's voice were to sit much higher, he might be Peter. If Peter's voice were to sit much lower, he might be Tim. There's a, a sort of beautiful uh, symmetry in their sounds that just makes the blend together gorgeous. I also love the choice of the harmonies here and how in sync they are together on each little tiny movement. So let's go back one more time. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off discourteously. And I have loved you for so long, delighting in your company. I'm going to play it one more time because I have a feeling this might be one of the times in the song where we get those two voices alone and just really get to hear how beautifully they've synced up each consonant, each vowel. Um, sometimes they have multiple moving notes in a single vowel and it's perfectly, the vowel matching is beautiful. Um, the movement is right, right in line. It's really, really nicely put together. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off discourteously. And I have loved you for so long. I love their S's especially. In your company. Green sleeves was all my joy. Green sleeves was my delight. Green sleeves was my heart. I love the texture that they shifted in here oh, with the ooze in the background. That was really pretty. Oh, a lot of really cool arranging techniques that they did. So uh, it makes so much sense. I, the moment I heard them singing just the two voices at the beginning, I thought, okay, this is the starting point 
And that's why I wanted to take advantage of that moment to notice how beautifully in sync they were, even in the length of their S's. And then after that, it makes sense that you would expand to bring the voices out and we'll probably hear an even wider landscape going forward. But there was a really cool moment where it was dropped back just a little bit right before this shift in background texture. And that, that was cool. It made that shift even more wonderful. <laughs> Sounds very choral here. Still all lyrics. Was my delight. Green sleeves was my heart of gold and who but right my lady. So it sounds like we might have essentially dropped Tim's layering right at that moment to give us an, an empty hole within the frequencies to suddenly fill as we shift again. Great, great arrangement, a great way to make our ears perk up and then re-appreciate essentially those low notes. And notice that they have only had in sync lyrics at this point. There haven't been oohs or ahs or doos and the lyrics are always following the notes at the same time. One more time, I'm gonna shift here. It's a cool this shift. was my heart of gold, and who but my lady? Green sleeves. This is cool. I have been ready at your hand to grant whatever thou wouldst crave. Oh, I have waged both love. To have. Oh my goodness, Tim almost sounds like a tenor when he goes up into that range. There's a beautiful slimming of the voice, um, and that's, that's really, really, really nice. I love the way he carries the lead uh, in that area. Uh, and then it's fascinating to hear Peter's voice right afterwards. They just have something sort of magical between their voices. It really, really works. I love the bottom line too, that Tim is singing the do 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 do. It's really, it's low and it's not letting the harmony shift around very much. It feels somewhat static. Okay, back here. Um, no, maybe a little bit further. Ready. Not further. I have been ready at your head. So the the slight difference that I hear in their tones is that Tim essentially has a little more closure in the chords. So it's a slight, it's not really truly pressed, but there's more closure. Uh, and you hear a little more air coming through in Peter's sound then. Both obviously are great sounds. It's just a slight shift in the timbre. And overall, it sounds like... Um, <laughs> Sounds like both voices have done a brilliant job of carrying that line, of using their breath, of uh, obviously tuning. It's just, it's really, really, really lovely. I, I love it together. Okay, I'll go back and keep going. Good will for to have. One vowel can do. <laughs> they have this ah that opened up into that part, and the ah feels so grand, and then the ooh that they go to feels so tender right afterwards. Listen to just the emotional impact that these two vowels can have. I love it. Love and goodwill for to have. Oh, there's some O 
more time. Open vowels, by the way, is just when your mouth is open. So ah, oh, those are open vowels. And closed vowels, ooh, ee, that's when your mouth is more closed. Open vowels um, often will have a little more warmth in the sound, but you can have a really bright ah that has a little less warmth in it. And e, um, that would have a lot of brightness. So, okay, back one more time. I like, I really, I just love the way that a, a little tiny shift can make you feel so much. Oops, back a this phrase, their voices go into unison and it sounds so, so pretty. <laughs> oh man, I want to hear that acoustically. I want to hear that in the same room. There's so much in production that we can heighten and, and show and Sometimes I just want to be in the same room so I can see what that vibration feels like. I know from singing opera that there are times when you would find another voice on stage and it would that there would be an extra buzz that would happen essentially. And the two singers, especially because you're singing right next to each other, you can feel it. It vibrates your whole body. It's just shocking and amazing. Um, and if you have that kind of buzz in a recording, that can be really distracting. So often we have filters or things that might take that out. Um, but live, it's incredible. It's just really, really awesome. And the way that their voices came together in unison here, I feel like that would be uh, something really grand to experience live. Um, just, you know, put put one on one side, one on the other side. I want to be in the middle. I want to listen to them and and feel exactly what sort of um, symbiotic vibrations are essentially being created. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Boop, one more time, right there. My heart of gold and who but my lady green so pretty. Right. So again, this idea of dropping out the bottom so that you can have another thing come in later in the bottom. And sometimes we'll do that on the top as well. Um, but you'll notice you get this treble line. Those are some high notes. I think that's Peter up there. Uh, they're definitely singing in falsettos. Might be both Tim and Peter in, in their falsettos up there in the backing. So they go up into the treble and that makes space for Tim to have a much lower, vo uh, lower verse. <laughs> notes and my stomach starts to rumble a little it goes mm, low notes <laughs> over time <laughs> I that thou my constancy may see and that yet once before I die oh. thou will vouchsafe to That sudden shift an octave higher was so seamless. I actually thought, when I paused it the first time, I thought that Peter was taking over in the higher octave there, and it was Tim who jumped back up. Whoa, dude, that's skillful. When the voice goes down low like that, especially Tim's voice, there is a lot of extra weight that gets into it. It starts to boom out. And if you take that boom and you shift it up really high, that's like lifting a semi truck up. Your voice doesn't really want to do that. It can be a lot of extra pressure. It can feel a little forced in the chords. So 
to go up to the high part like he just did, the voice has to slender out, has to kind of narrow as it's going up. But you don't want it to sound too slender or pinched, right? You want it to have a relaxed slendering so it still has a beautiful floatiness to it. And he achieves that without seeming to sweat at all. I want to go back to that again. Constancy yes. may see <laughs> And that yet once wow. before I die Thou wilt vouchsafe to love me Green sleeves now farewell adieu To God I pray to pray things that I love so much about Peter's voice. He has a way of bringing a little more air in and a vibrato too. It sounds so tender and vulnerable while being entirely centered all at once. It's got this expressivity, especially in this range in his voice. It's just stunning. It feels like it instantly goes to your heart really a beautiful, beautiful sound. Um, I love the, it's controlled without being over controlled. It has beautiful airflow in it. There's just so much beautiful and, and this particular tone quality that he can achieve. I, that's a great sound. One more time back here. love that little extra low note that Tim dropped in there. One more boom. It just was like a boom. I'm going to have a little low note. Oh, that was fun. Um, love they brought back that single two person harmony there. And also want to shout out this video is done in one take. Obviously, you're hearing the fully produced version with tons of layers of the vocals from each of them. And that's glorious. This particular video, though, uh, it was shot in one take. I know this partly because I found out they also shot Bridge Over Troubled Water, I think in the same day, and we're looking for a good setting for this. And the sunset behind isn't something you can really shoot multiple times. So you're not seeing any sort of take here that wasn't done except for all at once. Otherwise the sun would be moving positions and you would notice that you know it'd been mixed together from different takes. Uh, kind of cool. Obviously, both guys really knew their parts and didn't have to retake them at all. Once back, want that two-part section. For I am still thy lover true. Ooh. I like the way Peter does a little tiny slide on lover. Pray to prosper thee, for I am still thy lover. The once again, it, it makes me giggle. <laughs> True, come once again and love me. Green sleeves was all my joy. Green sleeves was my oh. delight. The the way Tim's voice is filling out the bass in there is really, really nice. There's some good rumble in it. And it's frustrating to me sometimes as a woman when I'm making an all vocal arrangement. I can only sing so low. There's ugh, as much as I wish I could go super, super crazy low. And I've really worked on extending my lower range like crazy. Uh, I still will never be able to hit the same low notes that Tim Faust can hit. It's just not going to happen. Um, and yeah, of course, I've been playing with subharmonics. Of course, maybe we'll see them someday. But 
when you're building out harmonies like this, that lowest note is so important. If you take a look essentially at how uh, chords resonate and the natural overtones that are created within them, a lot of times, if you can, you want a basic and seeing an octave lower and then double the octave above, and then you start to build up your harmonies on top of that. But it's just really important to have that extra bit that you can start building off on. And when you're just a woman, that lower that lower shelf is just never going to be as low. So I have a much more limited space that I can build off of. Whereas these guys have incredible falsettos too that they can build off of. Anyhow, let's go back, listen to the glorious, glorious bass in there. Green seas was all my joy. Green seas was my delight. Green seas was my heart of gold and who but my Listen to the vibratos in here as well. I love the, they, we got a little more strength in each of their sounds here. Obviously they're singing louder and that will often encourage a little more vibrato into the sound. It's beautiful. Oh, and who but my lady green sleeves. Yeah, it's nice. Just a little bit together. Haunting. Shout out to that video creation team for being able to capture that all in one take and even have the lovely shift of the camera to the scenery afterwards. That was lovely. I loved that ooh at the end too. It was haunting. It really lingered. And I think the harmonies throughout were gorgeous. This is a really beautiful song. I think it is haunting. Um, it has longing in it and sadness at the same time, but it has a lovely way of lilting that doesn't feel like it's really down or something. It's just, just gorgeous. And I think that they chose harmonies that worked really well. I especially loved it when they had just the two singing together. And that allows a various note choices that might be a little more spicy sometimes and really fun. Then we had that huge choral sound. I love how much attention was given to the words and to which specific vowels they were going to use at what time. And I like the way that it was also very deliberate when they would take certain sections out to allow something to re-enter with a sort of freshness to the ears. Lovely. But most of all, I just love the way their two voices go together. And many of you know, I've already talked with Peter and had him on an interview on the channel. So now it's going to be awesome to get to talk with Tim and ask him all about things like this collaboration. How is that? And their most recent collaborations and also ask about how he makes those really cool low sounds that make me giggle. And then, you know, ask all kinds of questions too, like about Home Free, whom I love. So I hope that all of you will join us right after this in the interview with Tim. And please continue to make recommendations down below. I love hearing your recommendations. We track them. We, I have a whole spreadsheet of times when you've recommended this song the most. So just know that we are listening to you. Make your recommendations down in the comments below. And I will hope to see you in our next video. Thank you.